what the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, dismissed as insane, could actually hold weight for many people. In a democracy, the public has every right to question the authenticity of their leaders. When such questions are ignored or brushed off, it can lead to a sense of alienation from the political process, making people feel disconnected from their leaders. Jean-Pierre's response seemed biased, as if avoiding discussions around image, optics, or authenticity, issues that are vital in shaping public trust and leadership. A different topic. Since when does the vice president have what sounds like a Southern accent? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I, I mean, this is... <laughs> she was talking about unions in Detroit using uh, one tone of voice. Is this something that... Same think... line... Okay, Peter. That this... she, uh, she used the same line in Pittsburgh, and it sounded like she at least had some kind of a Southern I mean, drawl. I mean, what? do you hear the question that you're... I mean, do you think Americans seriously think that this is an important question? They care... You know what they care about? They care about the economy. They care about lowering costs. They care about health care. That's what Americans care about. So That's what they okay, want to hear. Well, they care about, your colleague just asked me about democracy. Well, basically, we talked about, went back and forth about democracy and freedom. That's right. what they care about. I'm not even going to entertain some question about the president. It's just, it, it's just hearing it sounds so ridiculous. Well, but hearing it is... The question, I'm talking about the questions, is, is just insane. Is that how she talks in meetings? I, I'm just kind of, Peter, we're, we're moving on. We're still moving around. Authenticity is a core value, and Kamala Harris's sudden shift to a Southern accent during certain speeches can come across as an attempt to appeal to specific audiences rather than as genuine communication. This inconsistency may undermine public trust, as it suggests that a leader's persona is flexible depending on the audience, rather than grounded in truth. Effective leadership requires transparency and consistency. And, the public expects leaders to speak truthfully, not adjust their mannerisms to fit the crowd. This raises legitimate concerns about manipulation and whether such behavior reflects a lack of sincerity. Leaders should be held accountable for their actions, and it is important to question whether such shifts are strategic and manipulative rather than sincere.